Now, are your children told off for having messy handwriting? Yes, apparently teachers and parents are worried about falling standards. Yet, in a survey, almost 28% of teachers said they weren't confident in even teaching the skill. Yes, nearly 25% of mums and dads admitted they couldn't write joined-up handwriting themselves. Both blamed emails and texting. Let's talk to Adam Brand, a handwriting expert. Good morning. Good morning. Are you, I mean, what do you make about our standards of handwriting? You presumably, as an expert, do a lot of handwriting and would like to see the skill kept going. Oh, very much so. I mean, I think handwriting it requires a lot of concentration and commitment. You have to hold back on your uh, uh, emotion. So it's good for self-discipline. And the point about what's happening in writing, teachers are not getting a chance to teach children if you can get a pen that allows you to grip the pen properly with a, a, a pen similar to this whereby you can you have a sort of uh, a, an ability to hold the pen correctly if you can get the children to have the right desk height if you can get the paper in the right direction if you can teach them with a, 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 a type of copybook a model that is fluent and connected rather than the printing they get at the moment it has a tremendous impact on children now personally I, I can't go with what you're saying that there are sort of, if you like physical and mental there's clear reasons why writing is a good thing to have yet if your child is going to make their career is going to be using computers if their whole life is going to revolve around texts computers printing then what is the advantage? You can see why people will start to think, well, why do I need to have neat handwriting? Yes, it's not so much neat writing, it's the fact that writing, if you can learn it young and properly, it helps, learn, it helps you when you're learning to read. If you connect together when you start to write, you look at a complete word. At the moment, children are being taught to print, so they write an I and they come back and do an I dot. Or and therefore they, don't they see start a with the dot, and Absolutely. then do the eye. <laughs> you see, writing is more than form. It's about movement and space. So if they can get that fluency, it, in, it, it helps them with their reading, their spelling. They've done studies in Canada that shows that it helps their self-esteem, their ability to communicate with other children. Now, just banging away on a computer doesn't give you any of those skills. Mm. So writing is extremely important, even though we have all this equipment. Um, do you think that children should be taught to learn joined up almost before they are taught the letters and, and what age do you think that they should be able to do proper handwriting because I think a lot of mums and dads at home I mean I'm certainly worried about my children's handwriting I think it's appalling what I mean what would you say I, I would say you should dads? learn joined up writing immediately mm. you see if you look at the sort of um, books that are out there they say this supports the curriculum you open the book and it's all about printing now, when you have a G that comes down like that, what does a child do if he wants to connect? Mm. And a lot of children don't want to be printers. So, in fact, teachers are very worried that children won't be able to learn cursive joined up immediately. They can. We've got a, an example of your handwriting, Susanna, yes. that we can have a look at I know, at it's now. easy to criticise others. Oh, my goodness, it doesn't look so good <laughs> on the big screen, does it? What, do we, uh, what can we tell from that? Well, um, I mean, obviously, just quickly, one can make very superficial comments, but... Um, the main thing about the writing is it's connected, which is a sign of logical thought. Every single letter is connected. What you've also got is some very nice points. If you look at the first line, the M's have got some very nice points on the top. That is about quick perception. Also, the middle zone, the M's and the N's, are all very much the same height. So there's a sense of self-confidence there. Also, if you look at the zones, they're very balanced. You've got an upper zone, a middle zone, and a lower zone that are all balanced. So you've got somebody who's capable of an abstract thought. They're in touch with reality in the middle zone, and they're also in touch with physical needs. Look at the and on the bottom one. That and comes down into the lower zone. There's somebody who physically needs to be very active. It's interesting, it's slightly left slant, um, so there is a slight reserve, which is surprising. And in fact, I was, when I came in, I was actually given that bit of writing. And if you look at it, you'll see that the left margin is quite wide. Now, I realize that's a poem, but again, that left margin is wider than average, and that would give you a, a feeling of reserve, which surprises me, because you're in presentation, and your signature is enormous. And I hope well, let's have I, a look at that as well. Go on, I mean, now you've mentioned the, it. The signature is super. Can we have Susanna's signature? No, that's, an, uh, that's, that's enough of my handwriting being analysed, surely. Let me hold that one up for you. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> signature. I mean, I expect there are lots of people who, who think you can't tell anything from someone's handwriting. 
but yeah. you obviously Yes, disagree. but I mean, handwriting is frozen body language. Okay. And therefore, you're assessing people by the way they move, and handwriting is just that movement on paper. So it's important for children to carry on handwriting so that these skills are preserved. Absolutely. Good to talk to you, Adam Brand. Thanks very much indeed.